Oh. Good day, madam. Happen it's a lovely one again. Good day to you, young street urchin. And where do we find ourselves today? Well, ain't that a fine question to be asking a young gent like me good self? You see, pray tell, fair lady, haven't you heard? We stepped back in time into Dickens' world. Charles Dickens, Victorian novelist, the man who wrote Bleak House and Oliver Twist. The very same Victorian gent, and you can relive his past right here in Kent. Walk the streets of gloomy London just like him. All misty, moody, dank and smelly, dark and grim. Into Dickens' past we need to delve. He was born in 1812. Married Catherine Hogarth, she was a Scot, and they had Children. Right, that's a lot. He started off a newspaper reporter. But then decided he really ought to have a pop of fame and wealth and glory. And set about writing popular stories. Dickens, Charles Dickens. Here you can see it all. Dickens, Charles Dickens. Newgate Prison and the Music Hall. Dickens, Charles Dickens. If you want to feel like a fool. Then spend some time in the class of a Victorian school. Dickens' books were published week by week. The soap operas of the day, so to speak. It's what was known as serialisation. His stories truly grip the nation. Used techniques never seen before. Cliffhangers left the readers wanting more. Mark of Victorian EastEnders, I'm guessing. A bit like that, but much less depressing. You can choose Dickens, Charles Dickens To visit the house of Ebenezer Scrooge Dickens, Charles Dickens Have a great expectations boat ride The water's realistically brown It's OK, it's been dyed And you don't need to be a historian To know what it's like to be a Victorian This world transports you through the ages Brings to life old Dickens pages Dickens, Charles Dickens A novelist second to none Dickens, Charles Dickens, was partial to a bloody humorous pun. Dickens, Charles Dickens, so break the word again. He must be good, he's got a 